This one um, kind of pertains to the um, day, of the, uh, day of the Dead. It's called Warfare. Baptism, communion, and confessions. Young innocents easily influenced. Boarding schools stocked with impious priests. No papago spoken here or 30 days in the hole. Heads shaved and waxed the floors with grace from God and religion. At the graveyard, we sang nonstop novenas on Dia de los Muertes. Many years of self-indulgence did the white world, white women and white lightning. I was the creator, needed to me. God is red. The miracle of birth, the result of miracle love. Six of us in the delivery room, now there are seven. The baby has wet black hair, is purplish red, and wailing with newborn breath. I am amazed and stultified and reeling from last night's drunk. Still my eyes shot blood red. Suffering from alcoholic withdrawal, shaking, vomiting, and praying to God to get me through this one, the nightmare shocked me out of my skin. In grade school, the south side of Tucson was full of whites, Mexicans, few Indians. I came from brown adobe walls where faces are lined with deep crevices, the saltiness of survival. My eyes glisten with age-old spirits and genes of alcoholism and diabetes. I have been to war with alcohol and the long knives. Still my eyes, bloodshot red. Havelina, Jackrabbit, and Bobcat are strangled by the effluence of urban humanity. Toxic air, land, and water has forced Indians to jump reservations for the comfortable culture of milk and honey, for the plasticity of red, blue, and white lies. Eluding silver bullets, Tonto splits the scene for the shining, prosperous ball of existence. The medicine wheel has spun spiritual forces of God and Creator. Savage and civilized life do not interlace. Hear his prayer and plea for clarity. Still my eyes. Shot blood red. <clears throat> this next one is uh, title is kind of taken from a film called *The Geary, the Wrath of God*. Uh, it's a great German film. It's called *Tanto, the Wrath of Creator*. Tanto looked up with a teeth gleaming, ear to ear smile. His big buck knife dripping bloody from Lone Ranger's eyeball stuck to the tip. No, it's his testicle. His silver hair and silver horse all rotten through. It disturbed the succulent order of the desert, of lizards sun, sunbathing on volcanic stone, a mesquite and greasewood stand beside a fallen saguaro, pallbearers at a wake. The Lone Ranger's silver bullets sleep in his sorry jet black European holster. Tonto's pearl-handled hatchet pounds the silver alloys into the rectum of the Lone Ranger, all 40 of them. Even the vultures gag at the sight and stench of this. Tonto's war paint melts syrupy down his face, his rhythmic sweat, piss, and prayer. Swinging the hatchet, twisting the knife, the chicken scratch stomp, his leather leggings soaked with blood and pus, his war hoop heard all the way to the moon. The autumn sun cauterizes the blisters on Lone Ranger's scalp. Below the El Paso gas line, across the sun-scorched desert, Brother Eyeless Coyote quivers and contorts and laughs. Its migrant eyes fell to the ground, stare and cry and close. He melted under the charcoal sun. Thank you so much. This next one, um, this incident happened to me out at Santa Vera where I live about a mile towards the reservation border this past April. <clears throat> it's called Medium Double. Broad daylight, a half mile from my place. A large, off-red carrying van. Feudal human cargo splattered with chaos and pain. Unscheduled stop with ten illegals. Desperate, hopeless look. Dumping humans on the hot desert floor. Lost, no water, penniless. Not a coyote spirit, a ruthless coyote. Spit out illegal brown skin, slicing the reservation wire, gripping their plastic bags, 
with fine sweating faces. The driver, a beefy Mexican wearing a turquoise t-shirt, shouts at the dispensable human pawns, get the fuck out. Brown wet back bones penetrate the underbrush boundary. Hot breath, waddle a splintered tongue, the stench of terror, ripples of heat, the rattlesnake bitch uncoiled. A scorching sum at $1,000 per head, unfortunate beggars wore black threads, fuck these wests, plastic bag pendejos. The dance of death, burnt reservation blood, dried up coyote, music of a black hearted puta madre. Couldn't sleep with razor wire dreams. This was no medium double, the heartless piece of shit, that turquoise Mexican, a vulgar maximum double. This is a, a real recent one. Uh, short and not too sweet. It's called Clarity and Focus. Jesus. Empty 12 packs. Empty 30 packs. Empty bud suitcases. Empty champagne carafes. Empty pickle green wine bottles. Empty 40 ounces. Empty pizza boxes. Empty chicken boxes. Empty burrito boxes. CDs, DVDs strewn all about the kitchen, the living room, bathroom, barf room. It was a hell of a party. Too bad I was the only one invited. Just one more here. Uh, I get a lot of pretty good responses to this one. It's called Gaiapsa. When I was young, my head fell in from jumping, chasing, and falling. Grandma would heal me with her fingers, lifting the roof of my mouth with pressure so hard my eyes watered. Grandma whispered a silent prayer and told me to sleep. When I woke, I felt warm and calm. We ate a bowl of steamy gaiapsa, cracked corn, red chili gruel, gritty and earthy. Under the mesquite vato, her cast iron stove and perpetual mesquite constant chimeth in the air. A commodity cheese block and lease money sustain her life. A burning day, an olla encased in damp canvas swung from the roof with a dipper quenched 110 degree papago. The water crystal cool. A scorpion as big as a beer can crawled across the ground. Grandma smiled calmly, paid no attention. Gaius defined Grandma, her burnt adobe host, house, a sage that always knew what was on your mind. We weren't awesome, we weren't native, we were Papago. Then the razor blade and concertina wire came. Thank you. Let's hear it one more time for this gentleman, your featured poet for the uh, Pop Culture Reading Issue, Marlon Evans. Marlon Evans dropping the F-bomb in front of all these wonderful children.